My name is Ikenna. I'm American, but I study in Europe. More specifically, I study in the Netherlands. And the thing is, when I tell people that, sometimes they look at me with wonder, but other times they often look at me like I'm a bit crazy. So I'm doing a video covering just that. Is studying Europe something you should do, or is it crazy? Well, here's the thing. If you like saving money, a lot of money, going somewhere, getting out of your comfort zone, learning to speak another language fluently, understanding another culture, making friends, amazing friends from across Europe, and traveling to beautiful cities for cheap, then no, it's definitely not crazy. In fact, it's something you should definitely do, or at least consider. I definitely recommend just to, just give it a look, check it out. So here's my story. I was accepted to two schools, one in America and one in Europe. Now the problem was that the American University I got accepted to, yeah, it would have cost me $55,000 per year after financial aid, which uh, was definitely a no-go. That means over the course of four years, it would end up costing me something around $220,000. And that's not including if I wanted to travel, if I wanted to eat out with friends sometimes. Now, luckily for me, my parents would have been able to help me out. Maybe they would cover roughly half of that, which is um, great, but at the same time, it would leave me with around $100,000 of debt by the time I graduated, which, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Thankfully, before I applied to the American college, I knew that the prices might be high, so I did take a look at a few colleges in Europe. So I found out about a really cool university in the Netherlands, and Back then, I really had no clue about the Netherlands, but I was thinking it'd be a really cool opportunity to study something I'm passionate for and kind of go somewhere that's outside of my comfort zone. And the best part, the tuition is only 9,000 euros per year. And there's only three years, not four. Um, not to mention, if you have EU citizenship through your parents or through your grandparents, that tuition price drops from 9,000 to 2,000 euros, which is roughly like, yeah, $2,500. Now, when I got accepted to both colleges, there was a decision to be made, and I was thinking, okay, I can go and drive two hours away from where, where I was raised my entire life and go $100,000 into debt, but you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm going to go to Europe, and to this day, it's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. So that being said, here are the top five reasons for studying in Europe. Number one. Money, 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 money. So, guys, of course, you just heard my story about how I saved a lot of money, but how does that apply to you? Well, it depends on which EU country you are interested in studying in. Now, this is gonna become as a, uh, a big shocker to my, my, my fellow Americans, but um, in some European countries, you get paid to study, which seems super bizarre, super crazy. But in other countries, um, the tuition is really, really low. I mean, it's basically what we pay for textbooks. So for example, in Austria, you have it where the um, average tuition for non-EU students is roughly around 800 US dollars, um, and that's per semester, which is, yeah, I mean, that's quite low. But also in countries like France, the tuition for, regardless of where you're, what your nationality is, can be as low as 200 US dollars, which is like, like 40 trips to McDonald's and you like spend five dollars every time so it's like it's like nothing so what you're gonna want to do is go to the computer if you're not already at a computer which is kind of weird but um, click on the link that I'm gonna be putting in the description and it's gonna have a complete overview of all the different um, countries in, in the EU and, and what the tuitions respectively are for all of them now this is an important part in some EU countries it is cheaper to study there if you are EU citizen but uh, here's the thing, um, you should really check to see if you're eligible to become an EU citizen. Now, I know from where I come from in New York, everyone is either Irish or they're Italian, and uh, at least Italian-American or Irish-American. The funny thing about that is if you have a grandma, like off the top of my head, if you have a grandma that was either, or granddad that was either born in Italy or, Irish, or in Ireland, you are entitled to EU citizenship and it would make you, uh, it would make your tuition much cheaper. But of course, if you do have um, EU citizenship or you're eligible through like, let's say your parents, um, then definitely check it out. Um, if you just have some European blood, just, just see where your family comes from, man. Because if you do, you can save even more money. 
and embrace your heritage, of course. So maybe right now you're wondering, hmm, well, they teach in English or what, what, what's the deal? Uh, some EU countries will have a lot of courses in English, some won't. What I do recommend is either look up a list of uh, bachelor courses or master courses um, that are taught in English in whatever EU country that you are, you're interested in. Part two language so this is a really important part um obviously when you are in another country you're placed in an environment where everyone's always speaking a uh, language so you have an amazingly easy and just kind of convenient way to become fluent in another language if you want not to mention people really appreciate it if you can uh, speak their language or at least you try to and als je me niet gelooft dat maakt niet uit want ik heb kevin Yo, ik ben Yo. met Kevin. Gaat het, jongen? Okay. Ja, 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 gaat wel. Ja, oké. Okay. Dus wat vind je ervan, uh, buitenlanders, wie naar Nederland komt en uh, wil Nederlands te leren? Uh, vind ik geniaal zelf, omdat Nederlands geen makkelijke taal is om te leren. En als je als buitenlander dat kunt leren, een Nederlander die zal dat heel erg waarderen, omdat die uh, naar buitenlander dan moeite erin steekt. Ja. En dat is iets wat Nederlanders heel vet vinden. Ja, natuurlijk. En uh, denk je dat het mogelijk is om uh, fluent te worden in een paar jaren? Ja, ik denk wel dat het mogelijk is, maar misschien dat je ooit nog een accent zou kunnen horen van ja. iemand die vanuit het buitenland kwam. Maar uh, je wordt in een omgeving gezet die uh, alleen maar Nederlands spreekt, dus om te communiceren moet je wel. En ik denk als je dat elke dag hebt, dat je zeker wel vloeiend kunt worden erin. Oké, okay. dat was Kevin. Dank je wel. So, as I was saying, guys, come to Europe, add another language or two under your belt. And it's definitely going to look impressive on your resume, but more importantly, it will make you more of a global and well-rounded individual. And at the same time, it allows you to connect with people in a way that isn't possible if you don't really speak their, their, their mother tongue. Part number three, a second home. What do I mean? Well, I mean that if you leave your culture behind and you travel to a new country in Europe, eventually you're going to be able to learn the ins and outs of the of their culture and you'll just gradually gain a deeper and deep level understanding of their culture. An experience like that has the potential to completely change you as a person and to make you much more global minded. So just imagine this, you are from a small town in Virginia and instead of going to the local um, you know, university there or going to a university in the same county or the same state, you say, you know what, let me do something different. So you apply to a few colleges in Europe as well and you get accepted to a few and then you, you know, you, you like this one in France. So you fly out to Paris and you're there for the next three or four years. Can you imagine what would happen just mentally uh, being in a completely different yeah, environment? You are going to s gradually pick up the culture and you're going to really familiarize yourself with the student and the, the youth culture. Um, not just that, but also the culture of the city that you live in, and it's going to make you just more well-rounded. Not to mention, after a few, you know, a few years studying in France or wherever, you come back to America, or maybe you stay in France, but let's say you come back to America, all of a sudden, you're, you're gonna walk different. You're gonna have a different outlook on life. You're gonna be probably speaking French, be like, oh, so, 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 be all fancy and whatever, but it's just, it's something cool. It's something different, it's something unique. Hmm, but I'd have to say the coolest thing is the fact that you have established a second home for yourself. You know that if you ever went back to wherever you studied, you'd have friends there for life and you just, you're familiar with the culture. And that is one of the coolest things to not only feel at home where you were born and raised, but also feel at home in a completely uh, different place and a, a new place. That's, that's amazing. Point number four. Okay, so this part is really cool. I mean, it's traveling, it's traveling. Traveling is point number four because you can travel to such amazing cities for very, very cheap in Europe. And I honestly believe late teens, early 20s, there's no better place to be in the world when it comes to traveling than Europe. You can go to Cologne, you can go to Barcelona, to London, to Madrid, to Valencia for the weekend and just have a blast with your friends or especially during the summertime for summer vacation you could just have a complete euro trip and it's it's just an amazing place to be because you're so close and so connected to a lot of different countries point number five is just the people that you're going to meet now you're going to be meeting people that come from all different countries that come with different perspectives that they know music that you thought only Americans knew and they come from cities you've never even heard of but you're gonna struggle to picture your life 
without ever meeting them because the people you're gonna meet here is just insane. Now I know in America it's possible to to hang out with foreign exchange students or, or to just hang out with foreign students in general but listen when you are in Europe you are the foreign student. There are of course people from the country that you you're studying in a lot of them but there's also people from across Europe I know off the top of my head in my class there is people from um, Netherlands of course but also Germany from Sweden from Lithuania from Latvia from um, so many different European countries and really countries throughout the world that it's just it's incredible experience like the other day I was chilling with with three guys and one was Italian one was Polish and one was Armenian and it's like you just you don't get that experience anywhere else and I think the coolest thing is you will meet so much new people that have really weird kind of and, and just bizarre and strange um, perspectives but it, it adds to your culture and it adds to your your experience and the thing is you will have friends by the time you're done you will have friends from across Europe which is a really cool thing so if you're ever traveling to Prague or you're ever traveling to Krakow or to Berlin you know people that's sick that is it guys thanks so much for watching uh, check out the, the all the links in the, in the description below there definitely will be a few and um, I really wanted to create this video because I knew um, and I know when, when I was back in, in America especially college application time everything's so America centered America 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 but there's a whole world out there and you should definitely consider all of your options across the world um, before you you sign and, and make a huge decision in your life anyways guys that's been it subscribe please it would mean the world to me also give this button give this button give this like what the, what am I saying give this video a thumbs up hit that like button just also subscribe like right now like not in 10 minutes but like now please also share this video to your friends if, if you know someone that's like kind of wanting to uh, go to university which is a lot of people send it to them and let them know that there are a lot of different options out there and really you just never know what can happen so Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. By the way, the drinking age is also 18, so that's kind of fun. Whoops.